Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to do something different. We're going to play Sprocket. This is a game I picked up last night. Didn't really get much of a chance to play it. So I guess we can play it and learn it together. But without further ado, let's get into it. Like I said, I have tried this already. I've built a couple of tanks. None of them have worked. There's a trench line. Sorry, there's a couple of trench lines across here that I've got stuck on a couple times. But I have a little bit of basic knowledge of how to build the tanks, so we'll see. That is not mine, that is something that was already pre-built. This is generated halls. There's also freeform halls, which I haven't quite figured out how to do it yet. So for now, we're just going to go with the generated. Yeah, here's what basically you get to work with. Shape it a little bit. So I'm going to shape it and change the armor. Get back to you in a minute here. I think that's the basic shape we're gonna go for. I just have to mess with the tracks. Might thin it out a little bit to make it a little lighter. So there's our basic design. Increase the height a little bit of the tracks. So it'll get more grip. I might possibly put two engines in it if I can. Do 20 mil. So 25 mil. Oh, I think I get it now. If it turns red, it's better armor, and it's kind of turns. Is it from the angle I look at it? Yeah, 17 if I hit it directly straight like this. But if I hit it like this, it's 35. Hit it straight on, it's 49. 72 from this angle. Okay, I get it. That makes sense. this part be see this one I'm gonna try to keep my face 
at the enemy, so hopefully everything will go glancing. That part right there is not armored as I was hoping. Change the shape of that a little bit. This is World War One, so I might actually be doing it a little bit too much armor, but that's fine. I'll leave the side a little bit under armored. I don't want to take my weight too much. It's already at 13 tons. Alright, now let's see if we can drop two engines in here. That means there's two engines in there now. That shows my engine on that side. Then it shows it in the middle. Guess we'll see. leader in there. Got our fuel. our turret. Not the prettiest, but it's angled, so hopefully it'll deflect some shots. Gotta armor it up a bit. Twenty-six. Gonna angle it back a bit more. be the cheek, yep. That's a pretty vulnerable spot because it is flat-ish, but I'm hoping I'm not dealing with too big of a caliber. Fifteen on both sides, hope I don't get hit. Correctly. Alright, so there's a basic shape of our tank coming together. Just gotta get a gun on this thing. I'm gonna offset my gun so I can put my gunner sight in there. Add a segment. There we go, 75 millimeter. That's fine. Alright, 
I think that's about what we're gonna go with. Just gotta get ammo in here. This was a problem for me, trying to figure out how to get ammo in this thing. It took me quite a while. Oh, what do I have selected this time? Oh, I had the wrong button chose last time. That's another reason it was more difficult. Like I said, I'm super new to this, so bear with me. How is that still outside? There's our ammo. Less than three second reload. We're good. All right, here goes. Wish me luck. Got four allies with me. Hoping the length of it will help me get over the trenches. The first trench I can get over, the second trench I get stuck. There's AT guns out here somewhere. Well, I angle, angle the armor, excuse me. I saw a shot whiz. I don't know where he is, but... Hit to the side. There's another hit, it just bounced. Well, oh, there's a lot of shell drop. Shooting at that flash. There it is. It's one down. This thing's doing pretty good at bouncing the shots, though. I just don't want to catch one in the side. Not as armored. Got him. The frontal armor is definitely helping. Bounced a few shots. shooting at me, so I assume that it is. Another problem is my allies keep getting stuck in the trenches or in the holes. I 
Oh, that one hurt. Can't get my gun low enough. Oh, I'm dead. Let's see, we're stuck here. It's like there's something wrong with the reverse gear. It won't back up. Wonder if I have to put more engines in it. They are only four liters. I'm trying to move a lot of weight. I might have tuned this wrong because it gets to 1100 RPM and then won't shift gears. We've got a teammate over there, looks like he's stuck in the trenches. T gun is. I don't want to get taken out by him again. try to find a better route because I'm going to get stuck going through here. This thing crosses trenches way better. It's still really underpowered. just got me. Artillery. Oh no, I'm running out of tanks really quick here. This one's hurt too. This gun won't fire. Uh oh. We got this guy who is stuck.
Armor is doing a pretty good job of taking the shots, though. But it can only do so much. Oh, that's it. I'm gonna see if I can add another engine to this. I didn't change anything. I added an engine and added a little bit of armor. It seems to be more powerful with the third engine. Ricochet that bounced off the ground. Two down. Gonna cross this trench in a safer spot. Guys, stuck. Seriously, come on! I cross there. I'll leave my belly exposed like that. I am gonna die. Back up. I guess I'm committed. Hope I can get out. The extra engine definitely helped a lot. Now I just gotta try to dodge all these mortar shots. Here comes the enemy. Shells aren't powerful enough to pen them. Now I'm out of ammo. Oh, just as a mortar hits me. I'm not sure what I did, but this thing cannot back up. shots left right and center okay well now I know penetration only 30 mil Seventy-five mil should be enough to penetrate this era of vehicles. Is 
Let's up my gun one, two for accuracy. Gives me a little bit more pen too. But I'm gonna up this a bit more. Let's do 250 to be safe. Add some more ammo to this thing as well. So I ran out of ammo slugging it with those guys. Alright, extra ammo, bigger gun, more powder. Let's go again. You know, I did kind of learn something there about getting stuck in that trench. It increases the armor angle. It was making them really hard to pen. Then if I get stuck there, I can't move. So it's not really worth the sacrifice. Here they come. Really? Did I just get hit with Artie? I did. Oh, I think I got him. teammates still way back there come on guys nice his shots helped me identify where he was I could not see him kind of just there hauled down. All I can see is this turret. Got him. There's one more and I don't know where he's at. I don't have a clue where this guy is. hit the artillery barrel and that'll count yes it will there's one ow who just hit me shooting at me right now. 
Gotta be another AT gun out here somewhere. Frontal armor on this thing is pretty good. Really happy with the trench gate, uh, trench crossing that it can do. What is that? Uh-oh. Yes, give me your side. Oh my god, I can't even pen his side. Oh, I got him. One shot. Perfect. Five down. Nice, we did it. Finally. That took way longer than it should have. So now we're on to the interwar era. So between World War One and World War Two. All right. So this one I've never tried before. It wants me to survive or escape. So I think I'm gonna make it a bit smaller. I assume there's no trenches for me to cross. Try to make it smaller, a little more agile, a little lighter maybe. I'm also gonna try to play with this freeform hull thing. I'll get back to you in a minute. Well, I'm back from scratch again. I'm not quite experienced enough to mess with those freeform halls yet. I have a lot to learn. So I'm basically going to go back to that sort of similar design we had last time. I just need to make it shorter. That's probably about the right size. I'm going to thin it out a bit.
So I think that's going to be my basic shape, kind of similar to the last build, but a little different. But I can't decide if I want to shorten it or not. I want to play around with the tracks and see what I come up with. So I messed with the tracks a bit, and what I came up with, it's got a lot of ground clearance. I don't know if that's going to be an issue or not, so I might screw with the bottom part again. Alright, there's my basic layout. Oh, I think the engines have different gear ratios. The light engine has way more gears. I think. I'm not 100%. try 15 in the front for a little bit of mobility try to keep it under 7 tons if I can Probably not going to be a thing though once I get the turret on there. What's that part? After tweaking some stuff, I think I'm okay with this. Extreme slopes on the side. Pretty effective. Armor sorted, height sorted. Let's get my engine going. Let's try a medium engine. gonna try it with the one engine and if it's slow I'll try it with two maybe three to see if it actually increases the speed because right now I actually don't know let's go with a four cylinder four liter see how that does I 
little internal fuel tank in there. Kind of going with a lower profile here. I don't exactly even know what's going to happen, but we'll try that. Add a segment. We learned this from the last one. We're going to add a little bit more propellant. 270. 179, good enough. a 45 mil. Nothing ridiculous. My gunner sight. I don't want to put it up high. it there. Hopefully it's not impairing my vision too much. I forgot to armor up my components. The driver dead center. front heavy. Oh, you know what I didn't do? Add ammo racks. Not going to do much without ammo. Now they're in there. I don't want to put a backup one in there. Alright, now let's try it. What do you mean? I didn't take the driver's viewport away. I'm so confused. Alright, are we happy now? Where did my commander's port go? Why does stuff keep getting deleted? Okay, are we happy now? got his ass facing the enemy. Add another engine. I'd have to up the size of my cannon.
my side armor. I didn't see him there. I'm crippled. got a fixed gun that I can keep on his butt. Oh, he is armored everywhere. Oh, we still got him, though. This thing was barely adequate, but we did it. Well, guys, clearly I'm not the best tank designer, but we got it done. Both of our designs look pretty similar. I think that's a good time to end it. Thanks guys for watching. Have a good one.